I guess probably maybe for an opening statement, I think I would like to say how proud I am, you know, of these kids every single week. Uh, things aren't ever easy for us, uh, but one thing I think that this coaching staff has learned that you can count on every single week is the guts and the determination and the willing to go out and pay the price to fight all game long. And uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't pretty. I mean, we made mistakes tonight. We had more penalties than obviously than you'd like to have. Um, but you know, their courage in the second half to kind of jump start and get in, uh, driving down, taking the lead seven to nothing, and then clearly the biggest play of the entire night was Fred Russ on kickoff cover. I mean, we've tried to develop a reputation on special teams of being unique and special. That you know, if if it's going to come down to the outcome of a game. Uh, you know, we want our special teams to create plays for us. And uh, early in the season, a lot of the other games, we've had great things with the punt team. We've had great team, great things with field goals and stuff. Tonight, we, we botched a little bit of a field goal in the first half. Uh, but Fred going down and forcing that fumble, and then obviously uh, Shamir covering it, but then the offense going out and immediately uh, going for the quick strike. And, uh, you know, Sean Darius catching the ball, and obviously they were flying up run support. And, uh, you know, he did a great job. Alex did a great job under pressure because they actually had a free man rushing off the edge and in his face. To start it off, I'm pretty sure I teared up on the sideline just for like a quick second when I hugged Coach Smith and tackled to the ground. Um, but, I mean, I just think the, the attitude of everybody after the game shows, you know, what we've been through and what we've grinded for, you know, especially the seniors and the redshirt seniors that have been through here that haven't had success and haven't had it. And now it's here, and because we kept we kept with the program, we kept listening, we bought into Coach Davis, and, and, and you know now we're here. We're bowl eligible my senior year. We, it's it's not my legacy, it's our legacy. It's the team, that you know the 2017 Panthers made it happen, and I was you know, I was you know fortunate enough to be a part of that. Uh, you know, it was a complete team win because I'm going to tell you what, UTSA is a good football team. Frank Wilson is a very good football coach, and they came in here with the number one ranked defense in a multitude of categories, run defense and third downs and, and their ability. They got several kids in the defensive line that are going to play on Sundays in the NFL. And, and for us to be able to protect the way in which we did, uh, you know, was, was outstanding by our offensive line, our tight ends, backs did a great job chipping their way out and stuff. So um, congratulations to our kids. And the whole defense, I mean, a goal line stand down there, I mean, you want to talk about keeping them out of the end zone from the one yard line. I mean, that, that takes a lot of heart and that takes a lot of determination. And uh, because we were gassed, to be honest with you, our defensive line guys were tired and somehow, some way, they found the courage and the guts to suck it up, to be able to knock the offensive line back, control the line of scrimmage, and then, you know, keep them out of the end zone. The defense was unbelievable, and I, you know, I made sure I, you know, I told them every, every, you know, every time they came off the field, I'm out there fist pumping, you know, doing whatever I can to keep those guys' spirits up, and and know that we appreciate, you know, everything they're doing, and um, that goal line stand, that was, that was one of the best things I've ever seen, you know, at a live game, and uh, you know, hats off to you know Coach Guy, you know, for getting them ready to go, and the players for executing. My mindset going in like the game is on the line, so we have to make this stand. As a defense, we always. Uh, um, applaud ourselves on coming up on, on third downs and fourth downs, and we did a good job tonight. It feels great. It's like all the hard work you've put in over uh, so many years, in uh, on the field, off the field, and now it's finally paying off. It feels great, amazing. Well, Trayvon, obviously, I mean, he, you know, he's one of those guys that's just all over sideline to sideline. He's got excellent, he's got excellent instincts. And he reads things, he diagnoses things. And the one thing about really good defensive players is, is once they diagnose it and they know what it is, he's got that burst and that acceleration to close on the quarterback, the running back, the receiver. And, and uh, he, you know, he made, I mean, he made multitudes of, of big plays in the, in, the, in the second half. And I tell you, I seen the guard pull. And my job as the backside player is cut back. So I can't be fast over the top. I have to slow. Be slow and wait till he hits five before I hit. And that's what I did. I shuffled. And when I seen him hit it, that's when I hit it. Oh, uh, well, I was happy for everyone because it feels, I know everyone feels great. It was a total team effort from the st strength staff to the coaching staff to equipment, everybody. It was a co complete effort. And I know everybody's happy that we finally bowled eligible. I'd like to also, you know, compliment Alex Magoo again. Uh, 
you know, he's an amazing young man. Uh, he's got a lot of physical talent, so he can make every throw that you want. But I think his biggest gift is the is the energy that he brings to the offense. And I think, you know, I've always felt like that guys that were the elite types of quarterbacks, they have a little bit of a term that's kind of magic. That just somehow, some way, no matter how bad something goes, the protection's not there, the route didn't run right, you know, the coverage and all that stuff. And somehow, some way, he finds a way to make things happen. And uh, uh, he is a terrific leader and a, an outstanding player for our football team. And After the game, I just got, went to my knees and found Coach Smith and I tackled him to the ground and I said, we did it. You know, that's like the only thing that came through my head is we did it. You know, the, the effort, like the sweat, the, the tears, the blood, the throw up, you know, it's, it's, it's all for this right now. And the fact that we, the seniors, you know, the junior, I mean, everybody that's been here that hasn't had success, it's, I, I, I'm lost for words. Like, I don't know what to say. Yeah. If I can throw the ball to you, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's <laughs> pretty much that simple. Like, I mean, we had a good – coach obviously made a great play. Uh, corner was off, and I took, you know, the free access hitch, and uh, T.O. did the rest. And I just kind of put it on his outside shoulder, and he uh, he got it in the end zone. It's still shocking. Um, <laughs> it feels good to be bowl eligible, but, I mean, we, we're not done yet. We still got a lot, work, a lot more work to do. Uh, Magoo made a great ball. The line did an excellent job at blocking, and we just executed as a team. Basically, just keep them up, I guess. Um, tell them that right now is not the time to, I guess, go in the hole just because, I mean, like I say, we're both eligible. We got more work to do, and we're going to come back Sunday and get back to work. You know, I mean, obviously, I mean, he's, he's going to always be a, the other team's focal point. I mean, they're going to look at him just simply because of the statistics that he's got. Uh, but one thing that you can count on T.O., you can count on him making plays and obviously getting into the end zone. But the one thing that I love about him is, is that he is one of the most unselfish wide receivers that I've ever been around, that he is as willing to block on running game and he's as willing to run great routes when he's not the number one read. I mean, to blow the top off the coverage and allow Pharaoh to get into that intermediate or to get, allow somebody else to make some catches. Uh, he is he, he's just an excellent football player and and uh, you know we, we pretty much count on him to be able to deliver a lot of plays before the night's over with. We're gonna enjoy it 24 hours. You get 24 hours and enjoy a win. Then after that is back to work. We we're not just working to be both eligible, but we're working just to win the rest of the games from here on out. Mindset is we coming out to practice hard like we did this week. We're gonna pick up the intensity even more and have a better game next week. We're gonna be six and two until tomorrow's practice. So. That's one. But two, we're zero and zero. When, so, when we watch this film, we're zero and zero. We got to get better. We got to attack, you know, next week because we're going for the long, longer goal. We're trying to, you know, improve to one know next week and, and, and match up with, you know, I'm not even going to say it. We're just, we're, we're going to play Old Dominion. That's all I'm going to say. Just. It feels great. Like, it feels, that's, you know, I got hurt like two seasons ago and I didn't know if I was going to get a year back and I got it back and, it was, it's been great so far, like, we're doing, we're doing good. So we're just trying to continue doing that and building off of it. It's a great journey because during, uh, at the beginning of the season, we all came together as, like, seniors and captains of the team, and we um, just talked about the things we needed to get done as a team and to help lead the team so we could get to this point and further. I mean, I think, you know, I, I think our kids, obviously, the one thing that they have done all season long is that they've been able to, to compartmentalize the previous weeks and just say, you know what, it's we're zero zero. We want to be one and zero at the end of the week, and and whether we'd won three games, four games, or five games, and tonight was six games, and I hope that next week. I mean, it's the same thing. All we want to do is try to win the next game and play the very best that we can, and and uh, and th and that tribute obviously goes to the coaches because they are the ones that are the messengers that carry that and the players and they receive it and they understand it. And, and we didn't come here and we didn't start the season with the idea that our goal was to win six games. I mean, we are, we're not where we would like to be and, uh, and we're going to keep fighting for the rest of the season.